it's an enormous task for us, I think, as a, as a team. Uh, certainly going to Lebanon uh, and then and then Italy. You know, Lebanon, I think, have got uh, three NRL players playing for them and about round about seven players that play in their reserve grade feeder competition. So, you know, that's going to be a massive task for us. And, and then, obviously, a greater task when we play Italy in Serbia next week. Um, I think they've got five NRL players playing with them and five lads that play in the feeder competition. You know, the likes of Craig Gower and certainly Anton Minicello uh, playing against us. It's going to, you know, it just shows you the enormity of the task we've got ahead of us. But it's a challenge that we're, we're looking forward to extremely. And I think, you know, what I've told the players is the first two games, you know, go out there and enjoy the experience. You know, learn from 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 the occasion. Um, you know, our big challenge is Russia. You know, I think we, we'd like to think we're on par with Russia and, and that's a game that we were, we're very much looking forward to as, as uh, a positive result. I think it's, it's, it's a great uh, benchmark for us to, to profile the, the game in the country. I think that uh, obviously having two, uh, our two games, last two games in the country and then, then the Italy-Lebanon game um, in Belgrade as well is going to be a massive boost for the game over here. I think that, you know, very little is known, I think, outside of Serbia, and certainly within it, within England, and, and, and obviously more further afield, French and French, and, and and then Australia, about how much effort and uh, and how far the game has gone in Serbia over the last ten years. So, um, to to have the World Cup qualifiers over here, I think, hopefully, will profile the game and, and make it um, a lot more p uh, positive for people to come and watch us. We've, uh, I only got here on Friday. I think we've, uh, we had a, a positive game uh, last Friday against you, Karim. We won 10-4. Uh, we had four or five players missing from that game, so it was a, it was a great result for us with some of our key players missing. Um, I arrived on Friday and uh, we've had a couple of training sessions over the weekend. Uh, this is our third session now. Um, so the team that's going to, or the squad of players that are going to Lebanon will be training tonight. So we're, we're looking to, to add some final touches to our preparations for that game. Um, and then we can, once we get over there, we can we can just tinker around with things. But uh, it's been going very well at the moment. Uh, uh, obviously, work commitments with some players has affected their ability to train. But um, such is the, the the nature of the game over here at the moment. And that's something we've got to be prepared for. But but overall, yes, I'm very pleased how things have gone. Yeah, I think that uh, the, the 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 obvious two players I think that that people uh, need to watch out for uh, uh, Sonny Radanovic. Um, um, I think Sonny's playing in France at the moment. You know, he's probably one of our better players. Um, he's a great advert for the game in Serbia, and, and it just goes to show you what what can be achieved if, prepare, if you're prepared to uh, uh, to knuckle down and, and, and you want to play the game. Um, Dalibro uh, will play uh, scrum half for us. Um, he's, a, you know, I think an enormous talent as well for for the game in this country. Um, they're the two the two homegrown players, and then we've got the likes of um, um, Elia. Uh, Ragan, who's um, uh, an Australian-born player, but has got uh, his parent, uh, parents are uh, Serbian. Um, he's come over to uh, from Australia to play um, for Hamel Hampstead, and then he's, he's obviously playing for us now. He's been an Australian schoolboy. Uh, Adam Nedic, um, uh, he's played in the junior competition in Canberra, and, and Austin, um, who's played professionally for um, Oldham Rugby League Club. Um, he plays at Hooker and Lewis forward. Um, I think they're probably the five key players that, are, that we're looking to, to guide us around the field. Um, I think if, if we were to qualify for the for the for the World Cup, then I think the the, the Serbian team would bring an enormous amount of passion and pride um, to the to, to the whole event. Um, you know, the, as I said, it's an enormous task for us. Um, if we were to achieve and and and, and climb that uh, unsurmountable mountain. Um, and get there, then I think that uh, you know it would be a massive boost for the con for the game in this country, and, and certainly uh, the whole nation. I think would be behind um, a group of players that would would have obviously probably the likes have won the lottery, I suppose. <laughs> yes, I think that the end goal is you know we, I certainly won't be here, and, and I don't think that uh, um, the people that are running the game over here would would be here if if we didn't think that we can we can achieve our goals and, and certainly um, get some credibility with the game over in Serbia. You know, I honestly believe that the game is progressing year by year. Um, it might take another 10 years. I mean, ultimately the the game's been uh, progressing nicely for the last 10 years. In another 10 years, you could you could say that we're, we're setting the infrastructure changes to that would would add. Um, 
um, would, would strengthen the game over here that we, we could we could create enough or generate enough player pool to to certainly get better results and and, and hopefully um, challenge um, with the likes of Scotland and Wales and Ireland and Papua New Guinea th those countries challenge you know challenge the likes of England and Australia. Yes, I think that um, you know we're we're we're, the, we're quiet achievers at the moment. I think that if you look out look at all the all the European nations that are taking part uh, in 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 the competition in the qualifying competitions, um, you know Serbia I think are by far the most progressive in regards to what they're doing development wise. Ten team competition, uh, a university competition, under 18s competition. Um, hopefully in the 16s competition next year and, and a lot of schools activity going on you know I think the progress of the game in Serbia is has been fantastic and and Jovan and, and the rest of his um, board are, you know take a lot of responsibility for that so I think that you know people in the UK you know just keep an eye out for what's happening in Serbia because I'm sure in the next two or three years they will be poking the nose through